Well, thank God we had that 16-play, 95-yard drive. <laughs> yes. But if you take that out, I'd be like, oh, no. You know, 16 plays, 95 yards, 8 minutes, 17 seconds. That was impressive. Uh, but that's – I'm not saying you have to do that type of drive every game, but that should help your confidence because you backed up. You know, always say about the hidden yardage, flipping the field and all that. And usually we don't get outplayed in that area. I, I, I thought Lou Headley uh, punting terrible. Uh, Lou Headley, uh, I think that's still up, but um, sweet Lou, uh, he wasn't getting it done. Uh, 38 and, and a half yard uh, average, and he had that one touchback. Uh, no, just a poor game. Hayball averaged 48 yards. Now, I always tell you you have to look at the net, but no, I, I, that's uh, one thing when you're trying to flip the field and whether you. You know, whether you fair catch it inside the 10 or you try and run it outside the 10 or you let it bounce. Uh, you know, that's one thing. If it's over your head inside the 10, NFL punters, if they're doing their job, they can get that thing to kick back. So you almost kind of want to field it and then return it and get outside where you don't have to go 95, 90 yards to, uh, for a touchdown. Now you can get in field goal range. But uh, I don't know. It was kind of ho-hum at the beginning. Uh, we didn't force a three and out, but it was kind of like a, a three and out. They had a third and 12, and uh, Birdie was pressured by Brzee. Let me tell you who cat, two, these two cats, uh, they're ready to roll. Uh, they could be part of that. I know can make a difference whether we make the playoffs. Playoffs uh, as a dark horse, whatever. That being Brian uh, Brzee and Chase Young. Uh, they look like they ready to roll. They pinning their ears back. And getting it done, uh, Brian Brzee uh, had a quarterback hurry, but you could see him constantly getting penetration. Uh, looking at Chase Young, he had two quarterback hurries, which led the team in uh, two tackles. Uh, the ones that aren't making plays, is like, I don't know, they might get cut on the JV. Uh, for sure, one of them, Foskey. Did Foskey play in Notre Dame, or that's a different Foskey? Does he look like out of place? He doesn't look like an NFL player. He might he might have to go to the UFL and develop a little more, gain a little confidence. Uh, if you have containment, you can't let him get outside. I don't know. He looks like a robot. He looks stiff. Isaiah Foskey looks bad. I mean, Peyton Turner, at least he's beating his man. Now, I tell you this, Steve, and Charlie, listen to this. You know how you don't tackle in practice and then they're not going to hit the quarterback? You know, a couple of times in practice, they said, oh, that, that, that would have been a sack. That would have been a sack. No, in that game, you actually got to get him down. A couple of times, Peyton Turner's right there. How can you not make the play on the quarterback? Now, you're not tackling Lamar. I mean, if you look at Michael Vick or whatever, whoever you think likes the ultimate scrambler. So now I'm very disappointed in Peyton Turner and Foskey. But at least, at, at least they got on the stat line. Uh, they combined for two tackles. They each had one tackle. Uh, Fosky uh, had, oh, he made a tackle by himself. I, I don't even recall that. Uh, Turner had an assisted tackle. So uh, so now in two games, Fosky has one tackle. So because he got one today. No, I'm really disappointed because that's in the back end of our rotation. Hey, thank God we got Chase Young <laughs> to go along with Cam Jordan and Carl Grandison. Uh, you know, so I, I, I know we 3D, but I don't know beyond that because I'm um, – I think Turner got the ability, but it is tackle football. You're not like, oh, man, I'd have got him. And, you know, no, it's not practice. you got to get him down on the ground. So I'm going off a little tangent then. But uh, looking at how the game started, three and out. Uh, we went three and out. Uh, then we hold them to three and out. And then we go three and out. And then uh, our defense holds them to three and out. Great coverage. You know who else? Alante Taylor. Alante Taylor. With Paulson Adebo and Marshawn Lattimore being out, Alante Taylor's playing with so much confidence. He's playing like a flat-out stud. He Alante Taylor's another another one. The, to me, the three Musketeers: Brian Brzee, uh, Chase Young, and Alante Taylor. You know who's making plays? Who's win- playing winning football out there? Uh, and I, I put Alante Alante Taylor in that uh, category. Uh, uh, I know. It looks like he was running the route on one play better than the receiver. So I wrote down great coverage, just outstanding uh, coverage in, in that regard. Now, uh, Carl Grandison got a sack. 
I don't know, Brock Purdy, you played long enough. Throw it out of bounds. Throw it past the line of scrimmage. You scrambling. You took a minus one sack. So uh, Carl Grannis ended up getting a sack, but to me that wasn't a sack. Uh, now Hudson, uh, the linebacker we got, he's kind of up and down to me. The one we got from the Washington Commanders, but he ended up getting a sack. He ended up having uh, three tackles when all said and done. Now, um, to me, the best play to give the uh, offensive line and the offense confidence. I'd show this about four or five times and say, this is how we got to do it. And it was when it started on the long drive that we ended up going 16 plays, 95 yards, was when, um, uh, you know, Derek hit Foster Morrow plus seven. But the, the, the play was Jamal Williams. This might have been, I told you to Steve, I said this at, at half time. This might be Jamal Williams' best game in a Saints uniform. I'm not talking about the touchdown maker that he was with the Detroit Lions. I, I just look at how he was running and how hard. Uh, I'm looking at Jamal Williams at all said and done. He averaged six and a half yards a, 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 a carry. He only had five carries, but six and a half yards a carry at this. This is the play, 15-yard gain. I wrote, I didn't even really put out no individual players because uh, I put Jamal Williams and I put, Great blocking on the whole right side of the line. Hmm. Trevor Penning looked awesome. Uh, um, Cesar Ruiz, awesome. The whole right side, that's how you draw it up. So I got to show it the, all came together. Yeah, show the team that, and they probably will. They showed a few times, say, this is how it's getting done. Look at the results. Plus 15, Jamal Williams. And th- that was the chunk drive, not only going uh, 15. Uh, 16 plays, 95 yards, eating up over eight minutes, almost eight and a half minutes on the clock. That was the chunk play drive. Kind of remind me back in the day, uh, we, eh, we kind of take it for granted. Drew Brees, uh, Drew Brees and Sean and all. Uh, plus 15, Jamal Williams. Plus 11, Taysom Hill. Carter Chris Olave, plus 19. Uh, now we got a fourth and five. Uh, the Bub, Bub Means, oh, Bub Means coming out of nowhere from the Pitt Panthers, plus seven. Jamal Williams, we're now in the plus 21-yard line, plus 10. So a lot of chunk plays uh, when, when that occurred. And, um, you know, we were dominant. This is what I like. I like this happening in the in, at the beginning than it had been at the end. Oh, we, we got way more first downs than them. No, we were ahead at that point going to the second quarter. We were talking that seven first downs to one. Now you might say, well, the 49ers were not playing with all their weapons. I know that Christian McCaffrey, Kiddo, I know all them. Ayuk, uh, Trent Williams, all that. But still, from a comedy standpoint, we were up seven to one in first downs after we had that 16-play, uh, 95-yard dri- uh, drive uh, to take a seven uh, to zero lead. Now, uh, the one thing now we are minus one in the turnover margin. That was a big part, I think, why we even had a chance to maybe get the 10 wins. You know, we won nine last year because we were plus 11 in the turnover margin. Well, um, can we get even? And then count in the preseason, but even or be plus, and we'd have to be plus one or plus two against the Titans because right now we're minus one. There was no turnovers the first game against the Cardinals either way. So uh, with the rattler from us, so now we're minus one. So you always got to, you know, we got to practice this. We got to get ahead and be on that plus side. So heading into the Carolina game, let's be uh, at least plus one on that plus two uh, against the Titans. Did you think that one, that catch that was ruled, it was ruled not an incomplete pass. Did you think the 49ers receiver caught it and then was end up stripped yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one you got to make. That was a they, they, yeah, play. they said you got to make a football move. It got looked like three steps he got yes, with the it, football. I, I know it's like um, I guess is that a judgment? We had a replay booth <laughs> guys. So, um, but um, yeah, that looked like he old school. He definitely caught it to me. But not as that. Oh, he has to make a football move. What you count? Two and a half steps, three steps, whatever. So uh, yeah, so, so, but that was good defense there uh, to knock that out. But. Uh, with Rattler coming in on the sack and the fumble, you know, he had enough time to throw. But when you step it up in the pocket, uh, man, you got to either take off or you got to get rid of that ball. Because uh, when they come in to tackle you, they ball hawk. And I think he's going to learn from that. Uh, Spencer Rattler ended up having a fumble. And um, I thought he played 
better against the Cardinals than he did. Uh, he was like four of eight, uh, 27 yards. He had a long gain of nine. Um, Hainer, um, I still think, what are they going to do against the Titans? Uh, he, he was seven of 13. Uh, he had a long gain of 18. I'd say Hainer made a few more throws. But the one, to me, that uh, Derek Carr. Derek Carr bounced back from the limited amount of snaps he had against the Cardinals. He was seven of nine. I know only 47 uh, yards, but he had a long gain uh, of, uh, of 19 uh, on that uh, long drive. So when, when I look at that play and the quarterback play, Rattler's going to uh, learn from that. Um, now, if you look at, um, I mean, th- th- this to me, uh, to show you, because most uh, NFL teams, they're not playing – uh, guys that they are counting on, like, okay, for the start of the season this long. Uh, Trevor Penning, uh, not me, Landon Young, because uh, Fuaga was out, but Trevor Penning and Landon Young and Lucas Patrick, who's now the left guard, they played the whole first half. Uh, Much sorry, needed reps. Sorry, y'all have to play. Right. Uh, you're not like, oh, uh, no, after the long drive, no, you're going to play, play uh, beyond the long drive. Uh, you know, and so I didn't have uh, a problem with that. Uh, now, the one thing, uh, I thought uh, Groupie helped his cause, and uh, I thought Hoss would be a little more excited about this call, uh, but I, I guess the reason, because now most in the NFL, if you kick in a um, 50 to 54 yard, hell yeah, you better make it. It used to be like 45 to 49. I think now it's like 50 to 54, 55. No, you got to make that. Well, Groupie, and he made it easy, 52-yard field goal, uh, to be cut into the lead, went nine plays, 36 yards. Rattler was in a quarterback uh, to make it uh, 13 uh, to 10 right there. Now, um, if you look at, uh, I mean, like Deuce said, when he when he broke down, like what was, ca- you know, we're still not getting, uh, even though we had like big chunk plays on that drive, are we really yeah. getting any yards after the catch? It's not like, oh, that was a nice 15, 20-yard completion. Oh, we broke a tackle. We took it to the house. No, I don't see any any of the tight end, receivers, uh, any of that, uh, anybody getting yards after the catch. And as a quarterback, you love that. Oh, that counts on my stats. You know, I might have threw a quick slant. Oh, the receiver busted it for a 60-yard touchdown. Oh, nobody knows you didn't throw a bomb. You just threw a quick slant, and you accurate, so he's able to run with the ball and uh, break the tackles. Now, looking at overall from a team perspective, um, third down, uh, we were outstanding and terrible. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen this in a while. We were one of 11 on third down. I thought, what? I didn't realize. See, when we were watching the game, I didn't realize it was that bad. Yeah, like refresh there. Is that right? <laughs> well, yeah, we were one of 11. That's uh, 9% third down. Uh, that's terrible on offense. Now, defense is outstanding. We'll be in the top five for sure, if not the top three. Uh, they were five of 15, 33%. Uh, that was outstanding. Again, you know, red zone offense and defense. Uh, we were 100%. And that was only one for one. But this is outstanding red zone defense. They were one of three, 33%. You keep doing that, forcing field goals, uh, y- you should win. Now we're getting better, Steve. Uh, as a team, uh, we only averaged 3.8 yards a carry and gave up 4.2. But uh, it's almost, closer to what you want. Yeah, almost like a 50-50 deal. And I, and I mainly look at uh, what did uh, Jamal Williams and uh, James Robinson. Right. Uh, Jamal Williams had six and a half yards a carry with five carries, and Robinson was uh, five and a half yards a, a carry. Taysom Hill, not his normal. Five to five and a half, but he was four point two yards, uh, boy, and he had a nice run for eleven yards uh, uh, also. So they had uh, like those were three explosive runs. Williams fifteen, Robinson nine, Taysom Hill eleven. Uh, Looking in that regard, penalties were outstanding. Uh, if we do this every game, uh, we're not going to uh, uh, cost ourselves. Like oh, man, we had too many damn penalties, or it was critical. Now you can have a critical penalty holding or some man. We had a touchdown. Now it don't count or something in that regard. But you give me only five penalties, 39 yards, uh, I would take that any day of the week. And, um, you know, like I said, we've played four preseason games now. We're talking about we very seldom play San Francisco. We were up 2-1, to one, now it's 2-2. Two to two. And I said this in the pre, pregame, um, that we actually, 
you know, like they'd say, like, where did the Saints play besides New Orleans? Like I say, well, we played preseason games at Independence Bowl in Shreveport uh, against uh, the Cowgirls, against the Colts. I think it was Peyton Manning might have been playing in that game. And then we played in Jackson, you know, different places. And um, the Saints actually, I told you that, uh, played a preseason game in Portland, Oregon. I've all played Portland, Oregon, and then the Saints ended up winning down. But anyway, it's 2-2 two to two, uh, when all said and done. I'm going to break it down more of the numbers now because uh, I always look at total yards. This is Alvin Kamara's stat. But since Alvin Kamara ain't playing, uh, I'm kind of looking at who's getting it done. James Robinson, uh, seven touches. That's kind of Patrick Stephen running back, running the ball 39 yards. So so he was our number one guy. Their number one guy, remember that Cowan guy? Five touches, 70 yards. But one of them was we ran a 19-yard jet sweep because Foskey let him get outside. Foskey, you right there. Come on. You playing, you playing in Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana. You're not playing at Fort Wayne. All-time uh, leader in sacks for the Irish. That's no, mind-boggling. I, I, I don't think that's the same person. <laughs> uh, to me, it has to be someone else. And another one, you always look at targets and catches. See, this might be a really dark, dark horse. You know, we talked to A.T. Perry, four targets, four catches last week against the Cardinals. How about Morgan Fairchild? Oh, no, not Morgan. Was it, is that Morgan's brother, Mason? Mason Fairchild. Yeah, Mason Fairchild. Three targets, three catches, 10.5-yard average, 18 long gain. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I like Mason Fairchild. The tight end, how he came up uh, big and led the team uh, with, with, with uh, yardage, and tied with Alave with three receptions.